Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time zone you're in, welcome to my channel. My name is Dr. Christine Renee, and today we're going to be talking about don't be offended, okay? We offer caregiver support, health and wellness, self-care, and spirituality. So that's a broad but cluster together, and it should touch and reach anyone on this channel because self-care and health and wellness is for anyone. It's just that it so happened that I add caregiver support is because I am a caregiver and there is a need to support caregivers. We all have either been a caregiver, will be a caregiver, need care, or one of the three, okay? So hang in there, stick in there, and if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Well, listen, today we're talking about don't be offended. Offense is a big thing in any profession. Especially as a caregiver, you're dealing with elderly, older parents, loved ones, uh, spouse, siblings, or whatever. They can say some very hurtful things to you. And most caregivers are very empathic and giving and nurturing and can get offended very easily because you feel that you're giving all this good care, you're taking care of this person, and they don't seem to appreciate it. And they may say something or even do something. Loved ones outside of your care, they may be your siblings or neighbors or other family members may say something to hurt you because they don't uh, like the way you're rendering care. And you can be doing excellent, par excellent, and they still will find something to uh, hurt you or offend you by. Let it go. It's not even worth it. Come on now. Because you'll be carrying an extra weight. Come on, offense is like a weight. You'll be carrying an extra weight on you while you're trying to take care of someone and take care of yourself. This is about self-care in any profession, in any home or family or lifestyle. You have to learn how not to be offended because offense will come. But the Bible also says, yes, we talk about spirituality here. But the Bible also says, whoa, ha, glory to God, to him that the offense comes through. So be careful. Don't be the offendor and don't get offended, okay? God bless you. Stay encouraged, okay? Uh, find different stations or, or channels that are talking about offense more in depth than we are here. I'm just giving you a little coaching nuggets and tips here to help you get through your day, your work day, your day, your life in general. Offense will come, but woe to the person who brings them, okay? So you don't even have to worry about it. Let it go. Let it roll off your back like water on a duck's back. Come on now. We can do this thing. Don't get offended by your loved one. They may be elderly and grumpy or dementia or whatever. Let it go. Try to ignore the offense. And if it's too bad and you can't handle it, you may have to turn the job over to someone else. But offense will come. Come on now. But as I said, like we said uh, before, the Bible says, woe unto the person that brings it. So make sure you're not the offender door and don't get offended god bless you again and we'll see you on the next video give us a thumbs up if you like this content and please subscribe if you like and share 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 god bless again bye bye